What's up guys, Brad here, AKA Home Theater Gamer, and in this video, let's go over all the games and the actual physical console reveal from the PS5 event. Sony kicked things off with the reveal that GTA 5 will be coming to PS5 in 2021, including GTA Online for free at the game's launch. After that, a message popped up stating that all games from this point on were captured running from PlayStation 5 systems. A new Spider-Man game titled Spider-Man Miles Morales will be coming to PS5 this holiday. Polyphony Digital revealed Gran Turismo 7, which looked mighty impressive from a visual standpoint. Insomniac Games showed us some extended gameplay for their new game, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Square Enix showed one of their new IPs, Project Athia. Stray, a game by Blue12, will be coming in 2021 and looks to be using ray tracing for shadows and possibly reflections. Housemark, the team behind games like Resogun, Alienation, and Next Machina, revealed their new PS5 exclusive game, Returnal. Sumo Digital showed some gameplay footage of their new Little Big Planet spin-off game, Sackboy, A Big Adventure. Destruction All-Stars looks to be an over-the-top racing game with an emphasis on, well, destruction. Ember Lab revealed their new game titled Hina Bridge of Spirits. <music> Goodbye Volcano High, developed by Co op, is a new animated game set to launch in 2021. <music> Oddworld Soulstorm is another game set in the Oddworld universe, and it'll be nice to jump into Abe's um, bare feet again. Ghostwire Tokyo looks to be a supernatural first-person action horror game by Tango Gameworks and is a timed PS5 exclusive. Before I move on to the next game, what are you most excited about from the new consoles? Let me know in the pinned comment in the comment section below. And if you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Jet the Far Shore from the creators of Sword and Sorcery will be hitting PS5 this holiday season. Godfall is an action RPG from Duelist developer Counterplay Games and looks to be releasing Holiday 2020. Solar Ash, a follow-up to 2016's Hyperlight Drifter, will be coming to PS5 in 2021. The next installment in the Hitman franchise, Hitman 3, was revealed and will be coming to PS5 in 2021. Astro's Playroom will be launching with the PS5 and will come preloaded on each console for free. Little Devil Inside is a Kickstarter-funded action-adventure RPG game by Neostorm. NBA 2K21 showed some impressive-looking footage and will be launching in the fall of 2020. Octodad developer revealed their new game, Bug Snacks, an adventure game set on Snacktooth Island and will be releasing Holiday 2020. From Software's unforgiving game Demon Souls looks to be getting a fresh coat of paint and is being remade for PS5. Deathloop by Arcane Studios, the team behind the Dishonored franchise, will be making its PS5 debut as a timed exclusive. Resident Evil Village, the next installment in the survival horror series, will be releasing in 2021. Another Capcom title, Pragmata, looks to be a cool science fiction game reminiscent of Death Stranding. It's set to launch in 2022. Guerrilla Games revealed Horizon 2 Forbidden West, the stunning looking follow-up to Horizon Zero Dawn. And finally, we got a good look at what the PS5 will actually look like. 
Sony also revealed that there will be two versions, one with a UHD Blu-ray drive and an all-digital version without. They also showed some new accessories, and for those concerned about being able to lay the console flat, there's a very brief moment that shows the PS5 doing just that, so fear not. Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of white gaming consoles and have hopes there will be an all-black version, but I'm honestly really looking forward to the launch and I'm excited to try out some of these games. I do wish we got more information in regards to stuff like Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision support, but those will come in time, I hope. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one where I try to get my car back, but then it accidentally gets impounded. It's not a joke, sir. <laughs>